Hi everyone, uh, so we are here today with Craig Anderson, uh, Director of Sales and Marketing for Magnum Projects, and we're standing here in the beautiful Customs House Sales Center. So Craig, thanks for coming today. Yes, no problem. Me. So the Customs House, a uh, unique project, very special. I think a lot of people have seen the activity downtown. So why yes. don't you tell us what makes Customs House so unique to Victoria? Interesting, it's probably one of the only super prime offerings of real estate, uh, and specifically it's the only residential offer offering ever for sale in the Inner Harbor. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, where you typically see condos, you know, the lower and smaller suite mix, yeah. six, seven hundred, eight hundred square foot, thousand square foot. Our typical size is fourteen hundred, and it ranges right up to forty-three hundred. So you're catering to those people, maybe downsizing, looking for a little bit more space, looking for a special type of product. It really is, and uh, you know, with such a beautiful structure from yeah. the turn of the century, it uh, it will end up really being a landmark for the next 100 years or more. Well, it is a landmark building that most people are used to driving by, mm -hmm. but you know, I see the, the guys out there working right now, peeling back some of the layers. So you were telling me earlier, there's what, three or four different components to that for building? Sure. Yeah. It's interesting, this was this carriageway here was in, built in 1894, it was a one level, and that's where the police barracks were and they kept all the horses. And then they built on this early section here in 1914, which is, of course, noted here. Yes, of course. Yeah. And that second part, the taller part, was actually the post office and customs house. Yeah. It burnt down, I believe, in 37, and it wasn't rebuilt till 48 to 51, and that was that section you see. Yeah, um, in 1971, they realized that that, I don't know if they call it uh, post-communism architecture. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a, cold and gray. It's yeah. a cold and gray. Yeah. Yet they added all that fake cornice detail. So if you see the building now, they're pulling back all that fiberglass. It's just yeah. painted fiberglass. Interesting. Yes. So a lot of people might see, think that it's this completely yeah. old heritage building, but it's actually a whole mix. It, it really is. And that was one of the reasons we looked at uh, many different versions. So it was going to be rental. It was going to be office space. It was going to be short-term rental. Yeah. What worked best was to actually cut the floors from the inside. Yeah. That's when you'll see all these shored up stanchions right now. And the building doesn't have any parking under it because it's 100 years old. Of course. So they'll build two and a half, three levels of parquet, awesome. and then build a new five story behind, right to here, and a seven story. So really, the sandstone exterior yep. will just be a wrap, and gotcha. the new building will be inside. So of all it. those modern Completely conveniences, new, modern everything. mechanical systems, everything else. Yes, we have a full, what they call a VRF air conditioning heating system. These homes here all have 12 to 13 foot ceilings. Tens here in that entire section over there are all 10 foot. Awesome. Yeah. So if someone's looking for a nice luxury piece of property, this is what they want, want to go after. Very much so. It's so rare to find the blend of Italian cabinetry, Wolf, Sub-Zero, and of course, the view. Yes. The Empress and the yeah. legislature forever. It's yeah. just, it doesn't On a sunny matter. day like today, it makes yes. it perfect, right? Yes. So, so where are you guys at with sales-wise? I've heard over 50%? Now 70%. Um, wow. We have actually sold, I believe, the most expensive condo in Victoria at 7.2. Yes. Yeah, we do have our Pentos at 10.79. Uh, Still available. Still available. So please call me if you yeah. want that 10.7. <laughs> yes, but the majority of our homes facing the water range between two and three million, and I'd say 16.55 to kind of 2,500 square foot product, two and three bedrooms. But with 70% sold means you guys, if you guys want a piece of Customs House, you better get down here soon. But with Magnum, so you guys have done some other great projects in Victoria, sure. um, 595 Pandora. They did the Janion. The Janion as well. Yep, and uh, we have, I think, three or four more projects that are just in the queue right now. Okay, we, uh, downtown, or uh, can you give anyone any yeah, hints? Uh, maybe a little Vic West, a little downtown. Okay, um, okay. I live in Vic West myself, so I love it. <laughs> I love to see new stuff happen. We are really excited about this market. It's, it's shifted dramatically in the last three to four years yes um, it is no longer a sleepy town yeah. um, but we see a big influence with the tech companies company or uh, BCIMC yeah. being in town they, that uh, are coming like so the tech groups like these young guys that are smart and everybody's working really hard making good money making well. good money and, yeah. and staying I think the biggest thing is they used to finish school here and go and now they're staying I say the same thing all yeah. the time so Great, Craig. Really appreciate having it. Thank you for coming here today. So, if you guys have any questions about Customs House or anything else that Magnum's doing, please reach out to myself or Craig and the great sales team here. Thanks a lot. Thank you.